Animals like rabbits are being born in abundance. For example, there could be up to a billion of them born every second. According to figures, approximately 70,000 puppies and kittens are born daily in the United States. This massive number is a stark reminder of how many animals require our assistance and compassion. Additionally, some animals are not born into this world as often as others. These creatures are incredibly rare and are only born once every millennium. Number 1. Double-Muscled Whippet A rare condition called Bully Whip Syndrome can make the usually skinny breed of dog into a massive muscled animal that looks like it's been at the gym and ripping tank tops at Muscle Beach. This genetic syndrome causes a literal double muzzling of the dog and it may make it look like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of Whippets. It generally doesn't seem to interfere with the dog's ability to play or run, but it probably does rule them out from racing. Unfortunately, although the huge muscles it has make it seem strong, the dog still only has a regular sized Whippet heart and lungs. This means that all that extra weight and effort of having those double muscles also puts an additional strain on the dog's cardiac system and could cause the dog a premature death. This extraordinary condition has led to some positive news in the scientific research community though. It's believed that the genetic codes of dogs with the condition may actually help to find solutions for people who suffer from muscular dystrophy. This double muscle syndrome has also been found in other animals, including sheep, cattle, mice, and also some people. Number 2. The Giant Weta Punga Almost extinct, the Weta Punga is a huge insect kind of like a flightless cricket that was found to have survived only on the island of Little Barrier off the coast of New Zealand's North Island. These amazingly rare insects are thought to have been victims of a messed up food chain where they were overrun by predators. In the first half of the 20th century, there were loads of feral cats on Little Barrier Island and these cats controlled the population of rodents, especially the Polynesian rat. So when people came along and decided to rid the island of its feral cat population, that's when they basically invited the rats to go wild. The rats gobbled up the weta all night long and then during the day they were eaten by saddleback birds. So, it's no wonder that these guys nearly packed it all in. Then as usually happens, some people figured out what was going on and decided to get rid of the rats. The numbers of the weed has slowly increased and the insect has now been introduced into other predator-free environments. I don't know, but all of this fiddling about with the food chain seems a little bit risky to me. Are we going to be overrun by a ton of gigantic insects now? Number 3. The Saber-Toothed Tiger It was the teeth that named this cat that also made the long-extinct Saber-Toothed Tiger so deadly. Sometimes the Saber-Tooth or Smilodon and what a smile it had would grow those super long canine teeth to a massive foot long. And they weren't just pointy, they were also rated like knives. Just imagine, foot long steak knife. Oh, and it's attached to a very carnivorous and extremely hungry 660 pound cat. Then you'll get the idea, looking at the old bones of the animal that went extinct about 10,000 years ago. Scientists reckon that the shape of the skull and jaw meant that the saber-toothed tiger probably killed its prey by literally stabbing it to death. You know, like a slasher movie, think Psycho or Michael Myers. Except that they probably hunted in packs, there'd be like five sets of knives slashing and stabbing. Ah! It turns out that these massive felines didn't have any natural predators in the wild. So, they were most likely hunted into extinction by humans. Although, it may have been a kill or be killed sort of situation, just look at the size of that overbite. It's enough to give an orthodontist nightmare. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Introducing the Tigan, a unique hybrid of lion and tiger that's extraordinarily rare. As crazy as it may seem, Tigans are a natural animal and not the result of crazy human experimentation. Tigans are born when a male tiger and a female tiger mate. They were first bred and exhibited in zoos back in the 19th century, but these days breeding them is banned due to conservation issues. However, that doesn't mean lions and tigers don't mate, out of choice now and again. They're different to ligers, which are born when a male lion mates with a female tiger. As crazy as it may seem, there's actually a lot of difference between titans and ligers. Titans, for one are much smaller, 
Tie-ins can have either spots or stripes and weigh around 180 kilograms. A male never grows a full mane, but they can grow a little scruff. At present, they are extraordinarily rare, significantly more so than ligers. This isn't just because deliberately breeding them is now banned, but because of a multitude of factors, including a naturally shorter lifespan than other big cats and extreme susceptibility to cancer. Comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. The Snake with Legs Everyone enjoys a good origin story, but what about the tale of how the snake came to crawl on its belly and discarded its legs? It may seem a little bit biblical, but there is actually some science to it. How snakes would evolve from being a kind of lizard to a legless serpent had long been a big old mystery to scientists. But in 2015, a discovery would bring some new clues to the table. The discovery of a perfectly preserved fossilized snake in Brazil showed that the animal had four legs. It was a teeny little 20 centimeters long, but a perfect example of a young snake. However, with a difference, this creature had two very small front legs only measuring about one centimeter each and two rear legs. These little itty bitty legs were so well preserved that the joints were actually visible offering clues as to how the snake came to evolve without them. Without them, scientists believe that the fossil could be 70 million years old dating back to the Crustaceous period when snakes actually had legs. The shape of the snakes, skull and jaw shows that they were already in the process of evolving into the creatures that we recognize today. And scientists reckon that wine snakes stopped using their little legs for walking. They started using them in different ways, perhaps for even grabbing onto prey or perhaps for jazz hands. Number 5. The Croc Buffalo a remote village in Thailand witnessed an unusual and scary discovery in 2015, the birth of what they believed to be a crocodile buffalo. It seems a bit unlikely, to be fair. The poor and unfortunate creature was born with what was presumed to be scaly reptile skin and a kind of elongated head, a bit like the shape of a crocodile snout. The creature was birthed by a buffalo, but villagers actually believed it was somehow the offspring of a crocodile and a buffalo together. Sadly, the little animal would die shortly after being born. It was then displayed in a slightly creepy way, just all laid out on a table because the local people had hoped that the unusual animal would bring good luck to the village. Now, there may not be an obvious explanation for the buffalo's unexpected appearance with scaly skin and a crocodile snout not really being the standard for a buffalo, but you probably just had a condition that gave it these features and then unfortunately killed it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 6. Double-Headed Pig It's the stuff of comic books or stories that are set in radioactive hotspots. But this double-headed pig, is it just a load of old hot wash, or is there something to the twisty tale? Occasionally stories do come out of animals being born with two heads or extra legs. It actually does happen from time to time. So. Although surprising the pig farmer's discovery that one of the piglets in his saw's latest litter had been born with two snouts is not all that unique. This condition actually has a name, Deprosopus, and it's what scientists call an embryonic development, resulting in an animal being born with two heads. This little piggy was born with three eyes, two noses, and two mouths. And the rest of the litter, well, they were all equipped with the regular numbers of each. The little piglet did cause quite a stir amongst locals as news would spread throughout the village. Loads of people began to turn up to see the strange animal, with one visitor even offering to purchase the pig. The farmer's son asked that they keep it though, and so that way he could raise it himself. Number 7. Glowing Cats Now, how might a glowing cat be the key to solving a global health crisis? Sounds kind of bizarre, but apparently these cats have been taking part in medical experiments which involve giving the cat the gene that produces a fluorescent protein, the kind that some jellyfish produce in their bodies naturally. Now, it's part of a larger study into treating AIDS by marking cells to monitor altered genes more easily. So these glowing kitties are a walking medical research lab and their incredible glow. While it's all in the name of science to help work on projects, to figure out whether or not they can confer cells to the cats in order to protect them from feline immunodeficiency virus. If they can, it'll be progress towards developing more solutions in the fight against HIV in people. A spooky glow might look like these kitties, 
are part of a dark ride in Disney World, but they're advancing medical science rather than dressing up for Halloween. Although, they probably wouldn't be too out of place on the back of a broomstick. Number 8. Golden Seahorses Whatever will people think of next? It's as if humans have reached the end of ideas and are just bunging up any old fever dream in the lab. You'll have to understand what I mean when you hear about these golden seahorses. It sounds kind of like something that's pretty normal. I mean, things are often given names based on their obvious features, color or shape. But these living seahorse, they're actually made out of gold. They were genetically engineered in a Vietnamese lab by crossing genes from a light-emitting jellyfish with miniature granules of real gold, and this combination would then be injected in the seahorse eggs. Now, honestly, it does blow my mind of all the genetic tinkering that's been imagined. You just got to ask yourself, what's with the idea behind this one? It does turn out that it kind of worked. The baby seahorses had gold in them, and they glitter and everything. The general thinking is that they're going to be considered very valuable, and their value will only increase as they grow. But really what's next? Diamond-encrusted ponies? With many of these wild and unusual discoveries, more likely to be found in a Ripley's Believe It or Not attraction. What do you think about them? Do you believe it or not? Let me know in the comments below. Also check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.